Hello, my friends. How are you guys doing? I am so excited to be back. I'm doing another dorky car video, um, but just wanted to check in with you and say hi. I hope everybody's doing really well. Um, I know I'm hanging in there. Um, today, I'm going to talk about drum roll, please. Probably one of the top questions that I am getting asked like on a consistent basis. And this is, do I plan to stay on Ozempic forever? So anyway, hi everyone, I'm Anna McKenna. And if you are new to this community, thank you so much for being here. Um, you will find that these videos are largely un unedited and take place in my car a lot. But we have such a great community of folks here and I am just so thrilled that you're here. So please like and subscribe if you're kind of on for, uh, if you're on the bus for going on the journey with me to lose um, a ton of weight and basically transform every part of my life, which is the journey that I'm on right now. And I hope you are too. So the question that I am being asked probably most often is, do I plan to stay on Ozempic forever? And this is a complicated question. So in the groups that I'm in, a lot of people are saying that they are planning to stay on um, as long as they need to, to lose their weight and then go off um, the medication in the hopes that they will be able to maintain their weight loss without any sort of medication. So first, I just want to preface this by saying you should definitely talk to your doctor about this. I think there's going to be a lot of things that kind of go into uh, consideration here. And I think that's going to be your dosage, how much weight you have to lose. Have you been off it? Have you had just restart Ozempic or Wagovi? Like what is going on with you as an individual? And I think that that is really going to be something that each person has to look at individually with their doctor. The, the, the disclaimer, I can't even talk, duh, duh, duh. the disclaimer that I always put out there is that I am not a doctor. I am not a medical professional. This whole channel is based on my own health and wellness journey. And I just feel like I need to put that out there. I don't need any lawsuits on my hands. Um, and all I can do is really share with you the experience and my travel through trying to lose a shit ton of weight and transform every, you know, part of my life so that I am really living the best possible life that I can live and as healthy and as well as I, as I possibly can be. So I just want to say that first, I will tell you for me that in conjunction with my endocrinologist, we will make the decision after I have achieved the amount of weight that I want to lose. So I'm about maybe a little halfway to the point of where I want to be. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that I stall. I am currently in a stall that I'm trying really hard not to get frustrated about, but I am currently stalling. And if you've gone through any of my other videos, you will see that there um, that I've been through this before. And I think a lot of folks do. And sometimes I go um, several weeks without losing a pound and then suddenly I'll lose two or three pounds and that's just the nature of this medication that we're on. Um, but I am preparing myself to be on some dosage of this medication for the rest of my life if that's what my doctor and I choose to do. And um, right now I am on 2.4 of Ozempic. I count out how many injections I give myself each week. And that is under the supervision of my doctor. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I, where I get my medication from, I can't get Wagovi yet. So my pens are the Ozempic pens and I count out how much medication I'm supposed to be injecting myself with. And the plan is when I achieve the amount of weight, which by the way, I have not shared with anybody yet exactly what my starting weight is, what my goal weight is. All I can tell you right now for my comfort level is that I have lost about 33 pounds um, and holding strong. And I would like to lose at least another 33 pounds. I really would like to lose closer to 45 more pounds. And I will be on 2.4 until I get to that goal weight. And it might take another six months. I've been on um, Ozempic for about six months now. It might take a year. It might take longer. And my goal with my endocrinologist is to stay on this medication 2.4 until I achieve as much weight as I want to lose. 
moving forward, we have discussed, and again, we're not quite to that point yet because I haven't lost all the weight. We have discussed maybe maintaining a dosage, whether it is 1.0 or 0.5 or maybe even something different once we get to that goal, but we haven't gotten there yet. And in the groups, I'm finding that some people are preparing themselves as well to stay on the medication for the rest of their life, possibly. And then there are other people who are planning to try to go off of it and see if they can maintain their weight loss without having to take their weekly injection. For me, a weekly injection is not a big deal. And I'll tell you why. The side effects have essentially subsided for me. And let me tell you, I am like so grateful for that because, you know, I didn't have them that bad, but they certainly weren't pleasant by any stretch of the imagination. If you've gone through any of my videos, you know that I struggled with fatigue and uh, occasional like migraine headaches and a passing nausea. And I have been on 2.4 now for several weeks and I don't really have any um, side effects. Again, I do take it at night um, and I usually take it on like a Sunday so that I know that I have the day to kind of chill. So usually I'll take it like Saturday night so that I have Sunday to relax if I am hit with a bunch of um, side effects. But for the past several weeks, I have not even been getting any side effects, which is awesome. And so if I do go down and I decide that I'm going to need to increase my dosage, I just need to prepare myself that I might experience some of those side effects, which I know I can navigate well. I'm very lucky. I know that this is not for everyone, but I am prepared to stay on Ozempic forever if I need to, barring any sort of new research or development that comes out that says you shouldn't stay on semaglutide, semaglutide, whatever it's called for any sort of experience, uh, extended period of time. But that is the plan for me. And I think it is, like I said, going to be different for everyone. And it's something that you should work closely with your doctor on and also gauge where you are at in your weight loss journey and where you want to be. For me, a lot of you guys know that I'm a military member. I have to maintain weight standards, which I had, before I was on this medication, blown out of the water. It was a miracle they didn't put me out. And so for me, as long as I'm serving in particular, I know that I need, I must maintain this weight loss for as long as possible, as long as I'm serving. And I have turned my life around. I feel so much better. Aside from the military stress of having to lose that weight, I just, my clothes fit so much better. I feel happier. My skin is improving. I feel energized. I am really working hard on transforming myself, mind, body, spirit. My skin looks better. From that first video where I look like a soup sandwich, it was really, I was really feeling really low. And that is why I started this channel to begin with. And so if that means that I need to take a once a week injection to make sure that I'm able to maintain this feeling of feeling good about myself and the energy that it's taking to put into other aspects of my life um, and into other aspects of my wellness, then that's what I'm going to do. And again, like I said, I think it's going to be different for everyone. Um, but for me, just to have the energy to get dressed, you know, after two years of COVID and COVID weight and just really feeling re-energized about where I am um, and mentally feeling like, well, there you are. I was looking for you. You know, this is the old me. This is the me that I was waiting on. And my transformation, I think, has been more than just dropping the 33 pounds-ish that I have lost. It is, I'm feeling better. I look better. I feel happier. And to me, it is a multi-pronged approach to where I'm going. I'm going to be 45 in September. I don't want to be, like I've said in some of the other videos, I don't want to be the fat old lady sitting on the couch. Like I have so much left to do. I have so much more that I'm looking forward to. And I hope that you all are with me on this journey. And, you know, I'm getting to know a lot of you guys. I try to answer as many comments as I can. And I just so appreciate the community that we're building here. And I hope you're with me on this because I'm bringing 
a bunch of other things to the table. I want you to get to know me more. Um, I think that there's so many of us that are on this journey and um, I'm just really excited about what's to come. So just a few more things that I want to touch on. We're going to be doing some reviews. You guys, my partner got HelloFresh, okay? We're going to do a review and she is like terrified of getting on camera, just FYI. Um, but I think it's going to be really funny. And honestly, I think the meals are perfect for people that are on a plan and really slimming down the amount of food that they're eating, like all of us on Ozempic. And I'm going to be doing a couple more skincare reviews and some supplement stuff that I have added into um, my life. And I'm not saying like any sort of like MLM type stuff, but just, you know, I've added vitamin D and some other things. And not only is it going to be funny, I think a lot of it is going to be like, what are they even doing? And again, on YouTube, I am really just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. And all I know is that we've built a really great community and I want to stay in touch with you guys. And this is the best way for me to do it. So, um, also follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. Um, I post a lot of stories. I need to get better about posting on Instagram. I'm going to work on that, but follow me over there. It's Anna McKenna official. And, uh, I just want to hear, uh, back from you guys and let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe and just mostly just comment because I want to be able to talk with you guys. And uh, I look forward to what's ahead. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. I did. I had a great Mother's Day weekend and I am just so blessed um, in so many ways. So take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.